it's going really well. I'm actually, you know, when you play a nation that's not Desmond, it's a little easier. Just a tiny bit. Like, a, a little bit easier to get things going. You can do these, these crazy bullshit moves, sneaky bullshit, and actually get away with them. Whereas when you're Desmond, you just, you just can't. Uh, okay. Alright, they're repairing. Good, good, this is looking good. All our boats are together. We need to send our people somewhere, I'm thinking. We don't want to go to war with the HRE. There's no reason. All this is gonna get, uh... Gonna get out of the HRE eventually anyway. So there's no reason to go to war with Genoa now, when we can just go to war with them later. Um, but something like... Well, no. No, I guess there's really not much we can... We want to do up here yet. Uh... I guess we can start fabricating a claim. We can't do it on Morocco, actually. Right, that's that's the problem. Can't fabricate. Could we fabricate here? We could. So we'll start on Tunis. No, you know what? No, fuck that. We'll get our diplomats improving relations. I think that's what that's more valuable right now. Byzantium despises us, so let's start with them. And then probably we'll move on to our important allies. Yeah, let's make sure Castile loves us. Just to make sure this lasts. Because I really fucking need this to last. Mmm, <laughs> okay. Our money is not bad. We can even pay off our loan. You're welcome, Juice. Here's your money back. We didn't have to kick you out of the country. Which, unfortunately, <laughs> not a feature in this game. Not- can't do that. Uh, yeah, I guess next is Tlemcen and that- Ooh. Offer to become our march. Our vassal Byzantium wants to be designated as our march instead of a vassal. As a march, they won't pay us any taxes, but we can't... And we can't annex them. No. No, we can't annex them. No, fuck off. If we could annex them, I'd be like, yeah. You know, I don't care if I don't get money from you if, I, if you're stronger. So you can take over the Ottoman lands, but... Although, can you switch easily? I can still do this if I want to. Is it easy to, uh... To switch from a march back to a regular vassal? Again, that's another thing I haven't fucked with much. This has actually given me a... A lot of experience with vassals that I did not have before. Also, 92. We gotta watch for that. I, I think we could probably go to war with Tlemcen, like, now. They're allied with Morocco and Pheasant. Let's take a look. Uh... What's, what's the name of this country again? Tlemcen? <laughs> right? Tlemcen, that's Navy. I don't care about Navy. Tlemcen. Tlemcen has... 9,000 troops. We have what? 20? 23? Okay, 9,000 plus the force of Morocco. Wait. Also, we might be able to take some shit from Morocco in this war. That would be great. 15,000. That brings them to 24, which is on par with us. And then they've also got the strength of another ally, Fezzin. Who has three. So they are 3,000 stronger than us. As it is. We could not get anyone to join. Which is interesting. Does not want any land that Aragon hasn't claimed. What have I claimed? One province? You... <laughs> You're telling me Portugal and Castile do not want any of this? No, no, I guess they want Morocco. Um, what if... I doubt this will work. But what if I said Morocco is in? No. Okay. Well, um... Naples would join, so actually we would be an advantage. Also, we're just better than them. Because we're not filthy uh, North African Muslims. So we're actually, probably we would just do better. In fact, what's our, our tech is three. Yeah, that's, that's, that's probably the same as theirs. Yeah. I don't know if you can switch back at all. No. Yeah, I, I didn't think so. So that's, yeah, I'm going to avoid that. Uh, yeah, I think we can go to war and not, not have too much of a problem. Where's Pheasant, by the way? Way over here. Oh yeah, that should be fine. Pheasant won't even be able to get their troops over because I'll kill their boats. And, I mean, most of that's not much. There's only 3,000 that won't be able to make it, but that's good. 
And then these guys, we should be able to take. It's a, it's a little risky, but we just took fucking Byzantium, so... I'm okay with a little bit of risk. Let's, uh... Actually, what's our force limit looking like? It's over the... Oh, no, wait. We can get one more. We got one too many boats, though, so I guess we'll, we'll fix that. I don't want to be paying that extra shit. Let's get rid of that. Okay. Uh... I... I... No, we don't need to wait for that guy to come up, because he's gonna... It's gonna take a while to ferry troops over anyway. So let's... I think let's just go. Naples and Byzantium join. We can kill some Tlemcen boats immediately. Oh, no. Oh, also, should've, should've put these guys on the boat. The Pope, Naples... Nap oh, has called for a crusade against Morocco. Little late there, buddy. A little late, but we are at war with them, so thanks. I, th I think that might give us a... What does that do again? Uh, joining the Crusader and paying full maintenance on your armies will give that. Okay. Do I get that? I am at war with Morocco. And I am in that war with Naples. So do I, in fact, get that bonus? I, I don't know. Thought maybe it'd be in country modifiers, but uh, I don't. I don't think so. I don't know. I don't know. That's. I guess I hope that we are getting that bonus. Let's land. Yeah, we should probably fuck up Morocco's boats pretty soon here. What do they got? Eight transport ships. Oh. Oh, it's embarrassing. Is that... Is that Granada? Taking... Oh, Castile's just... Okay, I see. Oh, shit, we got it! Nice! Thank you, Naples. Naples is fucking the best. They just used their papal influence to, to put me in a crusade. I was just declaring this war because I wanted some land. But they're such nice guys, they're like, hey, let's make you have a good, holy, good fucking deus volt reason to take this land. Fucking hell yes, Naples. Sweet. Nice. Also, the Renaissance. Um, did we invent the Renaissance? We're getting all this bonus shit. Is that because we, did we do that? I don't think we did that. Oh! Oh, nice! Okay, fuck! Awesome! We invented the Renaissance! Feed pheasant to Naples. Not the worst idea I've ever heard. Um, okay, more free shit. Nice. Uh, let's, let's... We, we could save up, but I think it'd be better to get, um, zero stability here. I think that's what we want. Also, innovativeness is falling. Because we're a little behind on shit. But we're not behind the Muslims. I don't think. Let me make sure of that. Should have made sure of that. Yeah, that's good. Nice. You can revoke March for minus one stability and minus 200 relations. Oof. The minus 200 relations is actually the worst part. Because if you're revoking it, it's because you want to you wanna annex them. Are you fucking kidding me? Immediately when I put my stability up? Fucking dies. Oh, actually, that's a good thing, because our guy was terrible. <laughs> yeah, never mind, that's fucking great that he died. The stability sucks, but now we're getting way more points. That's actually not bad. Thanks. Thanks for dying. Um, yeah, let's go here. And ferry the rest of our troops over. Hopefully they don't come at us with a combined force further, uh, stronger than 12,000, but I don't... I don't see that happening. Is that... That's a lot of fucking boats that Granada has. Oh, it's mostly Tunis and Morocco. Oh, I see. This is going pretty fucking well. This is what I... This is, this is what I like about it. When, when these campaigns just go so fucking... Why is Pheasant... Why is Pheasant invading the Byzantines? And why are the Byzantines doing nothing about it? 
What I was gonna say is, I, I like it when you do crazy shit and it just works. When everything just goes right. I mean, obviously not everything can go right. If everything's going right right now. Bohemia against Poland. Oh, whatever. It might mean that things are gonna go really badly later. But for now, I'm just gonna enjoy the fact that things are going very well. Um, let's help Naples sink some boats. They do, in fact, actually need help. Pheasant apparently has a, a naval force to be reckoned with here. Okay, there you go. Oh, and we got... Okay, no. You need to kill the Moroccans. They're gonna, like, invade or something, I'm sure of it. We did kill the pheasant boats, though. Nice. Okay. Not bad. It's going good. Also, yeah, since Morocco is in this, I believe if we siege some of their shit, we might be able to take it. Therefore, cutting out this middleman bullshit of taking this first and then going to war with Morocco, we can just take this and Morocco. In fact, yep, we can even core this one. I was just about to say, did we core that shit from before, but I forgot. We gave it to our allies, so. Also, boost that. Poland is about to get gang raped. Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna help either. Ah, it's not that bad. They'll be fine. And if they're not fine, we'll, we'll ally Austria. <laughs> uh, okay, nice. Nice. Oh, they're all joining in. But we should be fine? Oh, yeah, they've got five galleys. We've got... Yeah, we're gonna be fine here. It's a little closer than I'd like, but it's, it's gonna be fine. We won that. Um, Castile is moving in. What are you doing, Castile? All oh, right, Granada was allied with Tunis. Okay, thanks, Castile. You know, we might even help you out here by killing their troops there. Oh, no, wait. They're allied... Oh, no, no, no. Tunis, not Tlemcen. Right, so they're not helping us out. Okay, well, whatever. Um, we definitely want to kill these guys before they meet up. You see, if we, if we leave this alone, the Moroccans are going to come in, and then they're going to have a force that might not actually be... We might not actually be able to take, at least not easily. But this force we can take and kill before the Moroccans get here. Getting rid of a big headache. Also, now we can start sieging. It's looking good. Um, I'd like to tell these guys to attach. Yep. The Byzantines don't actually have any troops right now. These guys are sieging them, but that shouldn't be a problem. Uh, let's repair a little bit, I guess. <clears throat> what's up, fuckers? <laughs> hey, what's up? We're doing really well. That's what's up. <sighs> Tunis allied Fezzan. Uh, they're not gonna join, right? Because that would be really fucking bad. Although Castile's at war with them, so it wouldn't be that bad. But it'd be bad. Burgundy, what happened? Oh. Austria got it. Okay. Um, Austria is definitely a player to look out for, then. They're gonna be pretty powerful. Um, if Poland does get their ass handed to them by their coalition, we're going to not join them, we're gonna get rid of the alliance, and we're gonna join Austria. That's probably what we'll end up doing. If, if Poland gets themselves fucked. Otherwise, I'd rather have Poland, probably, because they're technically a little closer to the Ottomans. Moldavia is their march, and it fast, it borders it, so... That's what we want right now, really, is just some defensive allies. No one's fucking helping us. Uh, the Iberian Wedding! Okay, alright. This is the big decision. Right now, we have the ability to make Castile a junior partner of us. Therefore making us basically Spain and having the easiest game in the world. So... We're not going to do that. I'm not going to do this. I don't want to be Spain. I don't want... I want me... You know, me and Castile, if we're friends, that's... Do it. <laughs> do it, fucker. I don't want to be... Uh, I know it's the smart choice. There's no doubt about that. That's the obvious no-brainer choice. But... Do it and don't form Spain. Didn't even think of that. 
Didn't even think of that. We could just do that. But. Hmm. 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 I don't like that. You know why I don't like that? I'll tell it to you right now. All this shit I've been doing has been like mildly impressive. We're fucking Aragon. We're a nobody. We took over Byzantium. We're fucking- we're, we took over parts of Serbia. We're saying fuck you to the Ottomans. We're now taking over parts of North Africa. This is all impressive. If we become little Spain, none of it's impressive anymore. You know what I mean? It's too easy. That we're, I don't want to play a game as Spain. Even if it says Aragon, it'll just be Big Spain. Big Spain. It'll be regular size Spain, but it'll be it'll be Red Spain. I don't want to be Red Spain. I want to be Aragon. If we take over Castile, that's something different. Marrying into them through a random event? No, fuck off. Not gonna happen. Too easy. I know almost all of you disagree with me on that one, but... Not doing it. You could release a bunch of them as incompetent vassals. That's also true. But it's just too easy. It's too easy. Not doing it. Uh, mm, I don't like... I don't like this. I don't like what's going on here. I think maybe... Can we? No, we can't. Should we do this? Should we fight this? Should we? What is Naples doing, by the way? Nothing. Uh, 21 versus 14. Do they have any sort of special bonus I don't know about? No. Do we? I don't think so. Oh, yeah, we do. We have higher morale because of our shit. Because we're in a crusade. Yeah, okay, let's kill them. They're running away. Let's kill them. They're okay. Let's kill them. Okay, they were able to reinforce. Okay, well, I think we should still be fine. Yeah, we're still okay. They're fucking terrible. All right, I overestimated them. I thought that might be a problem. It was not a problem. All right, that's good. I, that it's it's nice to know that their army is basically out of commission now. That is very nice. Uh, let's follow them a little bit. If we if we could follow them far enough to to wipe them, that'd be great. But no, it seems we can't. Okay, but that is good. Um, in fact, they would already accept us getting one province, which is all we really need, kind of. So that's a start. Okay, not bad. If they come back, we'll smash them again, probably. I really wish Naples would come over here so they could do some sieging or something while we did this. If we needed to go and smash them again, but... I guess it's fine. Take all the coast. Yeah, that's more or less the plan. Um, Tlemcen is, is making interesting decisions here. If we... no. <sighs> We're still at negative 56. I'll go smash them. I hate breaking up the siege over and over, but... Oh, fuck. Fuck, I got locked in. Oh, we're good. Oh, nice. Okay. Yeah, I hate breaking the siege, but I really cannot allow them to join up with this 14, which might happen right here. Nope. Can I... Not really. I don't like this. I don't like it when you keep just, like, fighting armies and not making advances, like, in land. Um... By the way, we should be, we should really be barricading them, blockading them. What the fuck are you doing, Naples? Do you wanna, do you wanna help, please? <sighs> Byzantium, I understand. They're being sieged, technically. You know, they don't have any troops. Okay, fine. Oh, we should kill, oh, we should kill Morocco. <laughs> we should kill the Moroccan boats there. Let's go here and start sieging, and then, like, I think we should probably just keep sieging at that point, since we are, uh... Oh, wait. Ah, uh, maybe I should have followed him there. It's fine. We're just gonna siege now, I think. Um, let's also... Let's get some manpower if we can. Can't you, Yeah. Let's lose some prestige to make them like us more, and then let's raise some levies to make them like us less. And now we've got huge levies. Okay, good. Can you not shift-click army movement in this game? You can, but the problem is these forts are blocking shit. If you don't know how the forts work, it's actually a somewhat recent thing. It was like it wasn't always like this, 
Um, any fort, like, blocks movement. And you can kind of see it here. You see it says, like, I can go here. I can't go here. There's an X. Because this fort is blocking it. And the forts also have, like, influence all around it. So, like, if... If I didn't take this fort, but I took this province, this province would get unseaged because of this fort. I, at least that's how it was, I'm pretty sure. But so, yeah, I can't go past here because the fort's in the way. I can't go here without going around because the fort's in the way. Also, I... Hmm, I forgot about forts. Um, forts forts are nice for that reason that I was just saying, but also they cost a lot of money, and I usually turn them off, and I forgot about that. This one is worthless to us. They're not gonna... There's no way they're getting here. These ones are technically worthwhile if we had a shitty navy, but we don't. We're gonna turn off all our forts because there's no way they can get to these forts. I'm not gonna let it happen. So, um... Yeah, we save a lot of money from that. That'll be like a buck fifty just from the forts being turned off. Yeah, okay. Alright, this is going pretty good. I, I hope the siege is fast. I'm kind of afraid it's not going to be very fast. Don't worry, the AI can ignore forts if they have some way to get into a province, even when a path would take them a few months. Well, yeah, but... <laughs> what about blue blob defense? Uh, I don't believe the blue blob... The blue blob actually loves me. Um, we could... We could actually ally France right now. Even though they are enemies of Castile, we could ally France if we weren't at war. Um, we don't have enough relationship slots to do that. We're already over, but that is very interesting. They love me, though, so they're not going to be declaring war on me right now. Like I said, this is a friendly game. We're friends with everybody. Everybody who's not uh, the Ottomans. Even the Byzantines! You know what? We went to war with them just so we could be better friends. We just wanted them to be our, you know, we want to take them under our wing. Show them the way. Byzant, you know, Byzantium, you're about to cease existing. Let me help you out. I'd like to stop that from happening. Uh, okay. Okay. Oh, my, uh, mm. something just updated on my other screen here. One sec. Sorry for the seizure warning again. <laughs> All right. Clemson there we might need to deal with too. Um, first let's go here. Deal with them. Okay. Yeah, we shouldn't have any problem with the Navy, right? No. They do have one heavy, which could be a problem. But I think it's currently hiding down... No, it's not. Oh, interesting. Let's go here. They seem to have split their troops up a little bit, which I enjoy. I enjoy that. They're also trying to siege that, but they can't. And England lost to France. What else is new, you know? Not too surprising. Which makes France an even better ally if we wanted to do that. In fact, another option, actually, if Poland becomes a shit, just a shit show, we could go France also. Although you think that wouldn't work out well in the end, but hey. <clears throat> Venice is now rivals with me. <laughs> if you say so, Venice. Yeah, whatever, Venice. That's that's fine. I don't think you're going to win that one. Better military. Awesome. Hopefully no one else got that. They didn't. Sweet. Okay, so we now have another military advantage. Also, yeah, they still have their troops like split up. I don't think this is their full force. And if it is, that's embarrassing. Hey, Castile took over Granada. Good for you. Good for you. Hmm, siege is almost done. Royal marriage from Castile, yes. Not the Iberian uh, wedding. Just a regular wedding. Just a, <laughs> just a regular wedding that happens to be between two Iberian nations. Not the Iberian wedding. Um, do we have one with them? We do might not be a good thing. The soundtrack's not bad. It's Yeese, by the way. 
is what this is a soundtrack for. Yeast 2. Which I, I've only played a little bit of. I beat Yeast 1, and it's actually fucking great. Those are, those are very good games from what I've played. Okay. Alright, good start. Um, we could technically take up to three provinces now, and no one important would be pissed at all. Actually, no one would be pissed. If I took four, they would be pissed, but who cares? Um, so at this point, I think we kill their, their army, and then go towards Morocco to take some stuff down here. The further down, the better. This is probably the furthest we could core, it seems, but... Yeah, let's take them. This is looking very good. Again, this is looking very good. We'll need a consort when our queen comes of age. Who are you thinking? A Habsburg, maybe. I usually don't even, like, pay much attention to it. <laughs> I usually just marry whoever, you know? Because, I don't know. We'll see. We could try something like that, but that would involve... You have the royal merits to do that, right? There's nothing that I'm missing there. So it would still involve, like, opening... Using up another relationship, relationship slot, which we're already over on. So, get total victory. Yeah, I think that's entirely within the realm of possibility here. So I think, yeah, we probably should. I mean, no, I'm not leaving now. I just like to occasionally check, like, what would they give me in case things turn south. Yeah, because I don't know. I don't know where things are going to go. Like, right now, yeah, everything looks peachy. But something bad could happen. Okay, we destroyed them. <laughs> I guess something good could happen, too. We just destroyed their army. Okay, we can't go there, but we can go here. Okay, yeah, let's let's take it one one fort at a time. What's your army like? Still somewhat sizable if they got it together. So hopefully they don't do that. And I'm pretty sure we should be blocking them off now because of the forts. Although they are moving there fine, it seems. I'm actually not sure about that. Uh, mercantilism sounds good. <clears throat> Carpet siege time. Not quite, because they do have some troops still that I, I can't even get to because of this, these forts. But soon, I'd imagine. Oh, that was the end. That was the end of the OST. Okay, uh, seizure warning again. <laughs> this is going to become a mainstay of the stream, I can tell. Yeast Origin soundtrack. Haven't played that one, but it's probably a good soundtrack. Sure, why not? If you got something better, tell me. Otherwise, uh... More yeast. That's honestly the only downside to YouTube. Not, eh, not the only one. But the biggest downside to streaming on YouTube is that I'm, I have to be very careful about, uh, about copyright shit. As far as I know. At least that's what I've heard, and I don't want to fucking... I don't want to rock the boat quite yet, you know? Like... <laughs> At some point, I might rock the boat. Because I'm actually curious if I could get away with it if I just, like... Like, maybe the video got demonetized, but I could still, you know, not get in trouble? Because that's fine. Do I want the Consulate of the Sea? Yes. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. That sounds really good. Those are a bunch of good things. Also, yeah, we're gonna get... Oh, we just got this. Okay. Uh, we can now get some bonus manpower, national tax... Uh, national tax is always good, but manpower is actually like a big problem at this early stage in the game, so I'm gonna go with that. Play some flamenco or mariachi if you're feeling dangerous. <laughs> or do you mean if you're fe if I'm feeling dangerous to do the copyright stuff? That's the problem. Is even mariachi shit? Like, let's let's. I'll, I'll give it a I'll give it a look. I'll give it a look. See right now. Mind the seizure. Uh, it'll just, you know, I'll go on YouTube right now, and I'll type in, like, mariachi music. Or, uh, no, that's, that yeah, mariachi is Spanish. Let's go, yeah. Flamenco music. I mean, not Spanish, Mexican. <laughs> and if I go onto this, if I go onto this, right, I'm gonna scroll down. I've got, got like an hour of, of flamenco music. I go down to the description, and every single one is copyrighted. I can't play any of this. Go to the next one. Ten hours of flamenco music. None of- ooh. What? Really? 
Ten hours of, of flamenco music. None of them are copyrighted. Okay. Perfect. <laughs> Let's try that. This will be a test. Alright. Not bad. It actually is kind of nice background music, too. What about Roundabout? Uh, I'm going to say 90% nine, nine, that that's prob probably would not work. Also, I'm looking for, like, albums and shit. Shit I can just, like... I don't want to be switching every 10 seconds, given every viewer a, a seizure and, uh, and breaking up the flow. You know, I want it to be something I can put on for at least, like, an hour before having to change it again. Or half an hour, at least. Um... But yeah, if you want to check if something in particular is okay, literally, just go to YouTube, go to the description, click View More, make sure you click the full description, and then scroll down and see if you... I'll just show you, okay? I'll, I'll, I'll show you. Music's a little quiet, okay. I'll show you right here, because it, it's, it's... It's simple. I've never showed this on stream before, so so I'll, I'll, I'll show you how to how to do this, okay? So look at this, right? This is, this is one of the soundtracks we're listening to. In fact... Uh, what we're listening to right now... Where is it? What? Where'd it go? Why is it none of these? Okay, uh, somehow... Oh, it went in a new window. Okay, that's cool. Okay, you see this? You got the description here, right? This is the music. You click show more. You scroll down. There's nothing here. Now, if I put in something like, for instance... Uh... Roundabout by Yes... I take a look, right? I click this, and now we, we can see. Go to show more. And there it is. Music in this video. Roundabout by yes. If you see anything that says music in this video, then you can't do it. If, if there's anything in this section, because you see right here, licensed to WMG, UBEM, all this shit. They will all flag my shit, and they can... Uh, I Apparently, people have even been gotten... They get their shit, like, taken down while they're live. Like, their stream will get taken down. Um, I don't want that. So... <laughs> now you know. Uh, back to the... Back to the seizure. Ah, yeah, this flamenco music somehow got in a new tab. Let me, uh, fix that there. But yeah, as long as we're trying to be good boys on, on YouTube, which for now we are. Music's a little quiet. Okay, back to the seizure. Right. One sec. It went in a new fucking window again. Okay, there we go. Right. There. Now let's, let's get back to the fucking game. But, for the future, that is what, uh, that is, what is needed for this to work. At least until we figure out if there's an alternative, or there's some way to do this, or if maybe we can get away with it, or some shit like that. I, I don't know if any of those things are the case. I don't think they are. But... This is actually not bad for now. And with most games, it doesn't matter. It's just like, grand strategy, that it matters. Everything else, it's like you just listen to the fucking game. Uh... Missionary Strength... Or yearly prestige. Missionary strength is going to be extremely useful very soon. Uh, I don't have a lot of money, but I, you know, I still want that missionary strength. What's your plan uh, when you win the war? The coast and vassalize the rest or just take it all? I'm probably just going to take as much as I can without getting like... As much as I can without um, crazy overextension. Or not overextension. Well, overextension too, but aggressive expansion. Um... The main thing is I just want some provinces right here to facilitate expansion into Africa. Which is going to happen a lot sooner than I thought it was going to. Because we're basically already the masters of the Mediterranean. Uh, yeah, I'm going to siege this next fort for now. We seem to be sort of hopping, fort hopping here. Uh, we should improve relations with somebody. Uh, Naples. Yeah, Naples. That makes a lot of sense. Facilitate the slave market, you mean? I'm, I suppose. <laughs> I suppose that will be a part of it, yeah? 
we will we will probably be having slaves uh, a lot of them maybe even Indian slaves I don't know there are slaves in India maybe not now well maybe <laughs> but in this time period basically you know Navarra is allied with Castile that's subpar I kind of wanted to take them over but I, I it's not a, not not a big loss I guess okay but yeah this is going this, <laughs> it's going Switzerland's trying to improve relations with us don't don't imagine I'm seeing a a Swiss alliance coming soon okay nice haha <laughs> haha -ha. time to take over haha -ha. uh they still seem to have a sizable army I don't know where it is I, I don't know what they're doing with this army I, I don't know I don't know where it is but uh we can't make it a core right but we can I think make haha -ha a core so what I'm gonna do to make this a little faster peasants uh you know whatever peasants again oh oh i see <laughs> Ooh. thanks peasants you made my leader better or my my general oh fuck why do i that's a lot less troops isn't it did i yeah i think i'm losing a lot of a lot of troops yeah i think we just hmm Okay, well, let's make this fast. <laughs> I, I don't like that. We need haha. -ha. Yeah, I, I, I think you're right. Um, let's increase here. And we should be able to get it. Uh, we should be able to siege it down really quick. And haha -ha is, is like within the range of what I want. Let's take a look. We can, in fact, get haha. -ha. Perfect. And we can core it. Because you see here it says, cannot select this province because a a Aragon... Amazon, I was about to say. Aragon cannot make it a core. But haha, -ha, I can select. So I can make it a core. Um, so I could take these three and haha -ha, and maybe Agadir. Would anyone coalition? Yeah, some nobodies. So let's... What I'm going to do here is basically their army now seems to be stronger than mine. Um, because of... Maybe not stronger because we're, we have better military tech. But, but sizable. Um, because of the losses we've taken. Because we're at zero manpower. Oh, I see how this happened. So basically, the second I feel threatened, I am going to, uh, to peace out for all this shit. Nice, we got Agadir. Let's take Ifni. I'm not splitting up here because, again, I'm, I'm scared of them. They're going to try and siege my shit. It's not going to happen. Also, if these guys siege um, right before they do, we'll peace out. Basically, we're just going to take as much as we can before things before things go south um let's take Ab abda we'll take as much of the coast as we can i would just peace out that's probably smart but look we've already Ooh, that's a hundred percent though nobody would coalition okay we should we should peace out now we can't actually take any more um so we get a nice little bit in the mediterranean and we get exactly what we need to get down here. We won't be able to core this until we core these, but that's fine. Um, yeah. Now we should peace out. We literally can't take any more. Let's go. Kill the Moroccan fleet first. Too late. <laughs> they were stuck in there anyway. Look at that! Aragonese Southern Morocco. And Aragonese Algiers. It's, it's strange how the color is, like, different than our color here. Almost. Uh, yeah, core all of that. Except that one. Can't do that yet. Um, actually, the one we can't core, we also cannot convert. Okay. We cannot convert because non-accepted culture, development, and Sunni. What about the other ones? Same shit. Okay. Um, well, we can help that eventually. <laughs> Uh, for now, that might be a little bit of a problem. Some rebel factions, they're not happy. Ha ha is very unhappy. <laughs> uh, probably because we made fun of their name. Let's, let's take a look. 24 years? Oh, that's fine. 26? That's fine. Uh, we're looking for, yeah, Tlemcen. Three years, that's not good. And then Moroccan. 
four years, three years. Yeah, okay. Um, we're going to keep some troops down here. That's what I'm hearing. Hey, this stuff's not bad. I linked an hour-long album for you. Well, for now, I'd like some victory flamenco for a little bit. This is pretty... I'm getting into this. I like this. But, uh, I'll check it out. After, after a bit of this. Nice. And also, this facilitates some further invasions into Morocco, uh, if, if, if wanted. Also, what this means to me is that we will take exploration straight off. Wasn't going to do that, but if we're gonna be right fucking here, there's no reason not to do that and just get our way to India immediately. I mean, it might not be the smartest idea. We should probably take a military one, probably, but it's what I'm gonna do. Also, we're at negative diplomacy, so <laughs> I'm gonna need some more of that. We're making tons of money, so let's get one of these. Trade efficiency, sounds good. And we got so much money, I'll even get one of these. Uh, taxes. Unrest would be really good, though. Oh, he's cheap, too. Oh, fuck that. Oh, I'm getting the unrest. I'm getting the unrest. I might even get rid of this guy, because we might not be making much money now. Eh, it's alright. Advancement of religion, better missionary strength. Fuck yes. Now we'll be able to convert some Sunnis. Is Erica copyrighted, I wonder? I don't know. <laughs> Spanish guitar is top tier. It's, it's honestly really good. The rest of the world shall... Ooh, we become a great power! Nice! What is this, fucking 10 years into the game? Actually, yeah, doesn't it start in 1444? Have we become a great power in 10 years? Crusade is over. We won the crusade, by the way. Just, just, FYI. Aragon just won the, uh, you know, 7th crusade or whatever. I don't know which one this was, actually. I don't think Naples really did this in real life. Declared a crusade on Morocco. Could be wrong. <laughs> yeah, we're still making all right money, and I think that national unrest is worth losing a bit of money for. Um, because if we look down at, like, Morocco now, five years. Yeah, that'll buy us a few years. And by that time, it might not even be a problem. It says licensed by a third party. Yeah, so I, I don't think that would work. Again, that is the big negative to YouTube. The positive being that you can say whatever the fuck you want. I was actually, I was watching, I didn't realize there's that guy, Empty Hero. I don't know if any of you have watched his stuff. I recommend it. He's, he's a funny guy. Um, if you watch some of his stuff, you, you might not recognize the name, but there's a good chance you recognize like his voice or something. Uh, he streams on YouTube, likely because he'd get banned anywhere else. And I, I'm pretty sure I heard him say the N-word when I watched a little bit of his stream today. And no problem. You know what I mean? No, no big deal. YouTube doesn't care. What's in Morocco? We've got sugar. Fish. Grain. And up here we've got cloth. Cloth. And grain. Okay, well, really... The sugar, I guess, is nice. Uh, I mean, none of it's particularly... No, none of, it, none of it's really that good. Uh, and as far as development goes, 8, 3, 5, 13, not bad. Uh, 7, and 8. Not, not bad at all, honestly. Um, we're going to turn these forts off. In fact, what we'll do... Um, just to be safe about it, is we will, yeah, automat, oh no wait, activate all forts, mothball all forts. I'm pretty sure if you do it using this menu, it'll raise them automatically. It might raise them automatically anyway, but that way, just in case we get attacked and we forget to turn our forts back on, they'll turn on automatically. We'll just have to remember to turn them off if we don't want them, but that's, that's much better. You know, it's, it's much better to lose a couple bucks because you forgot to turn them off than to lose a war because you forgot to turn them on. Sounds like a shithole. Well, it is a shithole. But it's our shithole now. <laughs> this, this flamenco got louder, but it also got kind of better. Ottomans against Trebizond. Really? Oh yeah, Trebizond, right. For some reason I thought, I was thinking like Tunis. 
Casablanca's all right. Yeah, some of this shit's all right. But the, the important thing is it's another step towards India, our ultimate goal. I don't know why. <laughs> There's really no logical reason that that's our goal, but it is. It, that's our goal. <laughs>